Now we are going to create the query and also the mutations. So first we go to the source folders and under this folder we create a folder called GraphQL. And then inside this we create two files. One is the mutation.js and the other is the query.js. And now we are going to copy this and we copy the import and then paste here. We do not need the use query at this file. And then we copy this. We will do a very similar thing. We copy these examples and paste to here. Instead of get the docs, we change the name to get to do's. And we can delete this part and change this to get to do's. And then we want to return the ID the title, the detail, and also the date. Now after we create this query.js, we can go to the app.js and then we are going to import this get to do's on the top. So we import the get to do's from graphql and then query. And then we also import the use query from the upload client. So we copy this and paste here. And we delete this GraphQL. And then inside the app, we create constant loading error data. And then equal to use query. And then get to do. So we console.load the data to see what happened inside the app. So now if we save this and then back to our app. And we forget to export this query. So we need to export and save it. And there is another error that we should not import from the mutation. This is import from the query. So we save it. And now you can see the errors gone. Now if we refresh the page, we can see the data is inside this object. And we have the to-dos inside this get-to-dos that has the date, details, ID, and also the title.